Hi everyone. So today we'll be solving another lead code hard problem, distinct subsequences too. So I already have a video on distinct subsequences. So you can find the link to that video on the top right of the video. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So there is a string S, and uh, we need to return the number of distinct non-empty subsequences of string S. And uh, since the answer may be very large, we need to return it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So yeah, again a standard definition of subsequence that uh, if we are choosing some characters of a string, then if that characters are like taken in the same order as they were in the original string, then they will form a subsequence. So since A, C, according to that, A, C is a subsequence of this uh, string and A, E, C is not a subsequence of that string because A, E and C are not occurring in the same order as they were occurring in the original string. So this was the like uh, definition of these term subsequence. So we can take a look to how to solve this problem. So as we all know that uh, including the empty subsequence, there are two to the power n subsequences possible, like not possible there are n sub two to the power n subsequences including the empty sub uh, empty subsequence in the string and uh, like it may be possible that um, many of the subsequences are equal to each other so basically by equal i mean like both of the subsequences are forming the same one like both of them are forming a b c both are, of them are forming a d c or whatever so this is the in this problem like we don't have to count uh, those repeating subsequences so we only need to tell how many distinct subsequences are possible in that string so like uh, this uh, the problem the statement kind of gave an intuition of using dynamic programming like uh, we can start with a empty sub subsequence and uh, suppose we have processed this string up to ith character and suppose this string was like that is like this so first of all in the start of the process there were there was only a uh, empty subsequence and uh, now we need to check how many subsequences are if we are processing until i equal to zero so we can take all the subsequences present before the this character and we can append uh, this character to end off all the subsequences to form the same number of new subsequences of that number like that count so we can take for in this case like we there is only one subsequence that is empty subsequence so we can append a to it to form a so now we have got two subsequences till i equal to zero again we can do what i we can again for i equal to 1 we can take all the subsequences present till i equal to 0 and uh, we can append b to the end of them to get the new subsequence so these were present before the i equal to 1 so we can append b before them after them to form new two new subsequences b and a so we can keep doing that so one thing we need to take care of that uh, this wave will give us uh, the number of total number of subsequences but uh, there may be possible that uh, while we are appending the present character to the all the existing subsequences to get the new subsequence there may be it may be possible that uh, the new subsequences that are formed by appending the subsequences are already present in the existing subsequences so it will not happen until we are encountering the same character because the new subsequence that we are forming by appending will contain the new character and if that character was not present before the processing of the present character then there isn't a chance of getting the repeated subsequence so suppose uh, i am telling that there are subsequences like there are suppose uh, some num n number of subsequences right and uh, we are now currently processing the character x and uh, before processing of this character x there was no character no like appearance of character x 
so all these n sub sequences that are present inside the sub uh, string like not a string like a uh, the list that list of the sub sequences that we have made for collecting all the sub sequences like all these sub sequences are not having x in them because x was not encountered in this string be uh, earlier before its appearance now so if we are appending x to all the sub sequences then we are getting unique sub sequences so in that case we can obviously add the number of the existing sub sequences to get the total number of new sub sequences total number of sub sequences till this point but what if we are getting the same character again so for example in this uh, example like all the characters are unique but suppose uh, after l we are getting c so what we will do as per the algorithm we will take all the sub sequences that were present till c so we we will take the all the sub sequences possible after considering this part so we will take all the sub sequences and add c to the end of them to generate new sub sequences but uh, all the sub sequences that were present before the last occurrence of c were are appended by c to generate the new sub sequences and these sub sequences are already present uh, also like uh, the total number of sub sequences that we have now also include the number of sub sequences that were present before the last encounter of the c so these sub sequences were appended by c to generate some sub sequences and uh, those generated sub sequences are also present so if we will be like uh, taking all the sub sequences before this c and adding c to end of them then these number of sub uh, sub sequences when added with c will give us duplicate sub sequences so we can in that case so earlier what we were doing we were like uh, for calculating dp of i we were doing dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 1 but now what we can do just in case we are encountering encountering a character that was already present in this string then we can add dp of i minus 1 minus dp of last minus 1 so by last time in the last uh, the index at which the present character last appeared so in that case the last is 0 1 2 so in our case the last is 2 so we will subtract to dp 1 from dp i minus 1 to get the new subsequences form so this is the algorithm that will be using for calculating the number of distinct subsequences and in the end like we need uh, we need to remove the empty subsequences from the total number of counts because uh, we are only required to return the number of distinct non empty subsequences so we need to take care of uh, to return the answer as dp of n minus 1 minus 1 so this will be the answer so we can see that uh, the time complexity is order n because at every step for every index we are doing only order one it uh, computation so this is obviously going to pass all the test cases and like as per the constraint like an order n squared solution was also able to pass all the test cases but yeah if we are doing it more optimally with a more better time complexity it, it is more better so we can start implementing it so first of all like i will be storing the length of s in a string n and we will need a vector for storing all, all the dps and uh, yeah we can also we will also need a like vector we may also use a vector or we can also use a map for storing the last occurrences of the all the characters 26 characters so i will be using a map no i will be using a vector for that so its size will be 26 so basically the zeroth index is referring to a and uh, the one is referring to b 
and this 25 is referring to z in this vector so all of them will be initialized with minus one so i'm assuming that uh, the last occurrence of each of the character was minus one and uh, yeah so just in case the last will come minus one we will be ignoring to subtract this term using if uh, if condition so we can start calculating the all the values of dp so first of all like we need to set dp 0 equal to 2 so the reason dp 0 will be 2 because there is already there there will be a empty subsequence and there will be the character that is present at the zeroth index and dp of i uh, yeah so dp of minus 1 is 1 because that is uh, only containing the empty subsequence so we will start i from 1 in this loop and uh, first of all i will be setting dpi equal to 2 into dp of i minus 1 and we don't we have to ensure we are taking mod so first of all we will be declaring the value of the mod let me const end so this is the required mod value i guess yeah and uh, one more thing is that we need to subtract so if last of the present character is not equal to minus 1 first of all we will checking whether it is 0 or not so if it is 0 then we will be subtracting dp of i minus 1 from it so we can do something like this and uh, just in case this quantity is greater than 0 we can subtract the dp of last minus 1 from it and uh, last of basically last of the present character so it will be this and uh, we need to make sure that we are taking mod proper mod after each operation and uh, just in case this last of uh, that character is negative so that uh, will be the case when the last of that character is minus one so that means that character has not been encountered yet so in that case we are doing nothing so after pro like execution of this whole loop we will be having all the values of each index so this minus minus yeah so we are subtracting minus one for to eliminate this empty subsequence and now we have got the number of distinct non-empty subsequences in this string so we need to make sure that uh, we are taking mod again because we have done operation on this value and uh, in C++, if you are taking mod with a often negative quantity, it keeps negative results. So if this quantity is negative, we need to add mod to it because the answer should be positive. So now we can return dp of n minus 1. So this solution should work and the time complexity is order of n because we are using a for loop of n iterations and doing we are doing order one work in each loop and space complexity is n plus 26 so 26 for this last and and for this tp so it will stay in the n so we can try to run it on the sample test cases to check whether it is giving compilation error or wrong result or not so it is working fine 
we can submit it so we are getting wrong result so ava and output should be 7 and uh, the expected is so output is our output is 7 and the expected should be 6 so we can check what has gone wrong so it is more or less like maybe we are not subtracting the repeated case correctly so yeah 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 so we forgot one more important thing that we are not updating this last thing like like last values for the character encountered so if we are encountering a particular character so the last of that character will become that so s of zero will become zero after processing the first character and after processing the ith character we need to make sure that we are setting the si minus a last of this character as i so now it should work yeah let's hope we are getting correct answer this time yeah so it got submitted so thank you guys see you again in another lead code hard problem until that until then keep lead coding